Hi there, my name is Digital Girl, and in this WordPress tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create and publish a blog post. We will be using the most recent version of WordPress, which is 5.9, and we won't be using any kind of page builder. This is strictly creating a blog post within WordPress using what WordPress comes with. So we're not adding any additional plugins or anything like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Once you're logged into WordPress, you'll be taken to the dashboard, as you can see here. And to create a brand new blog post, we're going to head up on over to the left hand side here, hover over posts and click on add new. Okay, so we've got our blank blog post here. Now I do already have the blog post written out, so I'm going to copy and paste the text into the appropriate places, starting with the title. Next, I'll go ahead and copy and paste the body text. Easy enough, right? We've gone ahead and copy and pasted the title along with the body text into our new blog post, but there's definitely more to it than that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go through and fix the headings. So when Google or another search engine crawls through your site for keywords, they are going to look at headers before they look at paragraph text, for example. So we're going to go through and turn all of the headers into, well, headings. To do that, we're gonna click on a heading and as of right now, it's simply paragraph text that is in a bold style. We're going to go ahead and change it to a heading by clicking on this paragraph icon. And then we'll select heading. And we'll go ahead and do that for the rest of the headings here. So same thing, we'll click on heading. We'll go ahead and do the last one here. And not only does that help with SEO, it also helps to break up the text for your reader. Another way to help your readers take in your information is to bold certain parts of the text. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and highlight the text and make it bold. So do your best to identify the most important parts of your text, highlight it, and then you can click bold here, or you can shortcut and hit command B or control B, just like you do in any other program. So let's go ahead and kind of skim through and make all of the important parts bold. Also, as you go, keep an eye out for any kind of corrections you'd like to make before publishing your blog post. As you can see, identifying and making certain parts of the text bold helps your reader to kind of take in the information. Next, I'll show you how to add a link to your text. So for example, let's say we wanted to link out to the Coinbase and MasterCard website. First, we'll go ahead and grab the Coinbase URL or link. As you can see here, this is the coinbase.com website. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the URL here and simply copy it for now. And then to add it to our text, Simply highlight the text that you would like to link and then click on the link button here. You can use shortcuts. In this case, it is Command K or Control K. From there, simply paste the URL. So a little piece of advice here, whenever you're linking to another website that isn't yours, so you're basically taking a user off of your website, it's a good idea to open it in a new tab. And then that way it's easy for your user to perhaps go to the Coinbase website, look around, close the tab, but still have your website open. This will basically keep your visitor on your site for longer. So once we've done that, we'll go ahead and click on URL, which is basically, you're just choosing the URL here that we've entered. And now, as you can see, a link has been added to the Coinbase text. 
I'll go ahead and do it one more time for MasterCard and then I'll preview the blog post to show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the MasterCard link here in another browser. I've copied it and now I'll go ahead and paste it again. Hit that link icon there. Paste the link. Again, we'll toggle on the option of opening it up in a new tab and then click on the URL here. Okay, so we've gone ahead and added those two links. So let's go ahead and preview our blog post so far. So it's gonna look kind of bare. We haven't added any images or anything like that, but let's go ahead and test out those links. So up in the top right-hand corner here, we have a preview button. And from there, you can preview as though you're on different devices. We're gonna stick on desktop for the time being, and we'll go ahead and preview in a new tab. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the title that we've put in as well as the text. So I'll just scroll down here. So pretty basic at the moment. And then we'll go ahead and test out our two links. So we added that link to Coinbase and if we click on it, let's see what happens. There we go. We're taken to a new tab. We'll go ahead and close that. And then we'll test out MasterCard as well, just to make sure that everything's working. All right, so we're good to go with those two links. Now I'll go back to our WordPress tab. So as you saw in the preview, the blog post at the moment is looking kind of dry. We don't have any videos or images or anything to kind of spice it up. So let's start off with kind of the more basic, which is an image. Simply hover over the body area here. And whenever you see a plus sign appear like that, where it says add block, you can add a new piece of content like an image. So we're gonna go ahead and choose an area and then click on the plus icon. From there, WordPress gives you a list of different items that you can add or different types of blocks, I should say. We've got a few popular options here, including the image. So let's go ahead and click on that. And from there, you have a few options. You can upload an image from your computer you can choose an existing image from your media library, or you can insert from URL, meaning you go and search for an image somewhere on the internet and just grab the link and pop it in here. In this case, and in most cases, if it's a brand new blog post, you'll want to upload an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so we've got our first image here. We can also add a caption to the image if we'd like. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview that again. So as you can see, we've got our image in place there. Now, another thing that we can do is actually add a URL or link to the image as well, just like we did with the Coinbase and MasterCard text. To do that, simply click on the image and then hit the insert link icon. We'll go ahead and paste the link in there just like we did with the text links. Once we're done, we'll just hit apply. And now if we go ahead and preview it, not only will the image be in place, but we'll also be able to click on it and use the link. So there we go, we've got that working. So next up, let's go ahead and embed a YouTube video. So we're gonna go a little further down here. So just like we did for the image, we're gonna hover over the body area here until we see a plus sign appear. We'll go ahead and click on it. Now adding things like a YouTube video or a tweet into your WordPress blog is very, very easy to do. You don't even have to go down and hit the embed option here. All you have to do is click on paragraph so that we have a text block and copy and paste the URL of the video into this text block. 
So for example, I've gone ahead and copied a YouTube link or a video URL, and I'm just going to paste it here. As you can see, WordPress kind of does all of the hard work for you and simply embeds it in place. So just like the images, you can add a caption if you'd like or leave it blank. It's totally up to you. Let's go ahead and preview the page. So now we've got our image as well as a video. And the great thing about this is that the video can be played right within your blog post. And videos are nice to add to your blog post in that they give your readers more context and they're also just visually appealing. So let's go back to WordPress. And that's kind of it for the body of the blog post here. Now, of course, our work is not done yet. We're going to click on the post tab up here on the top right hand corner. And we're just going to go through the settings of the blog post. So for example, here we've got the visibility, which is going to be public. We do want it to be public to everyone. The other options are private or password protected. So let's go ahead and stick with public. Publish immediately. Now you can change this if you'd like, you can backdate it. So for example, if we wanted to say, you know, January 2nd, we could do that. You can also schedule it so that it publishes on a specific day in the future. So let's say we wanted it to go live in two days. We could certainly do that. You can change the time if you'd like. You can also change the author if you'd like. Perhaps you've got a team of writers or there's a few of you contributing to your blog. You can certainly change the author. We'll go ahead and move further down here. Some of these are specific to this theme, so you won't actually see them in your theme. So we'll skip a few things here. Next up, we have the URL slug. Now this is what your link is going to be. So by default, if you have your permalink set to post name, it's going to pull the title here and create a URL for your blog post. So you can edit this if you'd like, perhaps you'd like to make it shorter. We can go ahead and remove the end of it. Next up, we have categories. If you have existing categories like you see here, all you have to do is click on the appropriate ones. You can also add a new category if you'd like. Of course, call it whatever you'd like. This is just an example. Once you're done entering the new category name, simply hit add new category. You can also add tags here, which essentially just help you organize the content on your website. An example of how a tag would come in handy is when your blog post has related posts, perhaps at the bottom, that will take your visitor to another blog post that has something to do with what they're currently reading. So we can go ahead and add things like Coinbase. If you've used it in the past, it will pop up here. So we can go ahead and click on it. And we'll go ahead and add MasterCard. So because MasterCard has never been used before, we don't see anything pop up, but that's fine. We can go ahead and hit comma or enter to use MasterCard. And that's it for the tags in this case. Next up, we've got a featured image. So this image is going to be the key image that's going to be displayed at the top of our blog post. And that may differ depending on your WordPress theme, but in most cases, it's going to show up at the top of the blog post. And it's also going to be the image that's going to be pulled when you share it on social media. So you know when you see a blog post shared on Facebook, for example, and it automatically pulls a picture, the featured image is the one that it's going to pull over perhaps a secondary image that you've added to the blog post itself. So let's go ahead and upload a featured image here by clicking on set featured image. So you can use other images that you've already uploaded to your website, or in most cases, you'll go up to the upload files tab here Click on select files and then browse through your computer files to upload the appropriate image. Now, before we hit that set featured image button down at the bottom, we'll go ahead and add some alt text. This helps to describe the image. You'll also want to use certain keywords as it can also help with SEO. So once you've added the alt text, go ahead down to the bottom and hit set featured image. And now that we've got that image in place, let's go ahead and preview one last time.
And there you have it. We've got our featured image here. We'll go ahead and have one last look at the blog post before we publish it, just to make sure that we like the way that it looks. And really quickly, I'll go ahead and show you how the tags come into play. So for example, we added the Coinbase and MasterCard tag. And as you can see here, it is pulling not only the same category, because this blog post is also in the companies and brands category, but it's also pulling things that are tagged with similar tags like Coinbase. Okay, we'll go back up to the top here and we're gonna go ahead and publish the blog post now. So if we head on back up to the top here and under publish, we had selected a date in the future just as an example, but I would like to have it go live right now. So let's kind of bring it back here. So again, if you're happy with the preview, you've read it over, corrected any mistakes, and you're ready to go live, we can go ahead and hit this big blue publish button here. And now if we head on over to our website, we'll be able to see the brand new blog post, just like our readers will be able to as well. So as you can see here, it's now showing up on the homepage because we've added it to the companies and brands category. And that's it. You now know how to draft and publish a blog post on your WordPress website. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to watch more WordPress tutorials, as well as videos on how to market your brand and business, definitely hit that subscribe button.